hello friends welcome to my channel in this video we will learn the principle instrumentation and application of nephrodermidometry if you are the new to my channel then subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get notification of new videos now let's continue to video different phenomenon occur when the light passes through a semi transparent medium suppose this is semi transparent medium or sample solution then what happens if the light passes through the sample solution some radiation will reflected from the sample solution some radiation will absorb in sample solution some radiation will transmitted from sample solution and some radiation will detect and some radiation will scatter from suspension solution now if the sample solution is homogeneous the amount of reflection is only 4% and the amount of scattering light is negligible the amount of absorbed light and transmitted light is more in case of homogeneous sample solution but if the sample solution contains suspended particle the amount of scattering light is more the scattering of light is studied in nephrodermidometry the amount of light scattered is proportional to the concentration of insoluble particles it means that the number of particle in sample solution increase the amount of scattering will increase now let's see the theory of nephrodermidometry when the light is incident on a solution containing suspended particle or very fine particle the scattering of light occurs which is known as tyndall effect this is the base of nephrodermidometry the nephrodermidometry is combination of two technique nephrometry and turbidimetry which we will study in detail the turbidimetry the turbidimetry deals with the measurement of transmitted light the intensity of transmitted light is inversely proportional to the concentration of suspended particles the turbidimetry measures turbidity of the solution if the amount of suspended particle is more then turbidity will more and as the turbidity is more absorption of light is more as the absorption of light is more the transmission of light is less that's why the intensity of light is inversely proportional to the concentration of suspended particle The nephrometry deals with the measurement of intensity of scatter light. The intensity of scatter light is proportional to the concentration of suspended particles. It means the amount of suspended particle in is more than scattering of light is more. The suspended particle must have very negligible solubility. because this technique involved the use of very dilute solution that means the suspended particle must be insoluble in the sample solution the particle of dispersed phase must be very fine so that they do not descend mean settle down quickly if the particle will settle down if the particle will settle down the light will not scatter to avoid the settling down of the particle the particle size must be fine the simple solution does not contain any dust particle it should be dust free the the dust particles are responsible for scattering of light so the simple solution must be dust free turbidimetry the turbidimetry deals with the measurement of intensity of transmitted light the transmitted light intensity is inversely proportional to the concentration of suspended particle if the concentration of suspended particle are increased transmission of light will decrease s is equal to log base 10 i0 by id is the equation for turbidimetry where i0 is intensity of incident light it is intensity of transmitted light C is concentration of suspended particle, K is constant, and S is turbulence. 
रेडिएशन सोर्स मोनोक्रोमेटर सैम्पल सेल एंड डिटेक्टर आर मेन पार्ट ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड ऑल आर प्लेस्ड इन स्ट्रेट लाइन और एट वन एटी डिग्री टू ईच अदर द रेडिएशन सोर्स विल एमिट द रेडिएशन द रेडिएशन पास इज थ्रू द मोनोक्रोमेटर द मोनोक्रोमेटर विल कन्वर्ट पोलिक्रोमेटिक लाइट इन टू मोनोक्रोमेटिक लाइट नाउ द मोनोक्रोमेटिक लाइट पास इज थ्रू सैम्पल सेल इन विच सम ऑफ द रेडिएशन विल एब्जॉर्ब एंड सम रेडिएशन विल ट्रांसमिटेड टूवर्ड्स द डिटेक्टर इट्स ऑल अबाउट टर्मिडीमेट्री नाउ नेफ्लोमेट्री The nephrometer deals with the measurement of intensity of scatter light. The intensity of scatter light is proportional to the concentration of suspended particle. The equation for this technique is I s is equal to K s into I zero into C, where I zero is intensity of incident light, I s is the incident of scatter light, intensity of scatter light. C is concentration of suspended particle K is constant radiation source monochromator sample cell and detector are main part of this instrument radiation source monochromator sample cell is placed in straight line while the detector is placed at 90 degree or 45 degree to the radiation source now the radiation source will emit the radiation the radiation passes through monochromator the monochromator will convert the polychromatic light into monochromatic light now the monochromatic light will passes through sample cell in sample cell cell of, some of the radiation will absorb and some of the radiation will scatter which is measured by the detector the difference between turbidimetry and nephrometry is in turbidimetry the detector is placed at 180 degree while in nephrometry the detector is placed at 90 degree or 45 degree to the radiation source factor affecting scattering of light number 1 concentration of particle number 2 particle size number 3 molecular weight of the particle number 4 wavelength of radiation the first factor which affect the scattering of light is concentration of particle the intensity of scatter light is directly proportional to the concentration of particle in the sample solution the second factor which affect the scattering of light is particle size scattering of light depends upon the size and shape of the particle The amount of scattering light is directly proportional to the square of effective radius of the particle. The smaller particle whose wavelength of incident light is about 1 by 10th, it will cause symmetrical scattering of light, while the larger particle whose wavelength of incident light is about 1 by 4th will cause asymmetrical scattering of light. The third factor which affect the scattering of light is molecular weight of the particle the larger weight particle will scatter more while the smaller weight particle will scatter less the fourth factor which affect the scattering of light is wavelength of radiation the shorter wavelength radiation are scattered to greater extent while the longer wavelength scatter to lesser extent it means the smaller wavelength radiation will scatter more and the longer wavelength will scatter less example blue light will scatter more compared to red light the blue light will scatter more because it has shorter wavelength while red light scatter less because it has longer wavelength instrumentation of nephro turbidimetry in nephro turbidimetry two techniques are combined turbidimetry and nephrometry in nephrometry the radiation source monochromator sample cell is placed in straight line while detector is placed at 90 degree and 180 degree to the radiation source 
the radiation source will emit the radiation the radiation will passes through monochromator the monochromator will convert the polychromatic light into monochromatic light now the monochromatic light will passes through sample cell in which some of the radiation will scatter and some of the radiation will transmitted the scattered and transmitted radiations are recorded by the detector radiation source used in nephrometry are tungsten lamp tungsten lamp or mercury arc lamp monochromator the monochromator will convert the polychromatic light into monochromatic light third sample cell it is also known as cauti it is made up of glass material because nephrometric analysis are performed in visible region the size and shape of the cauti varies with instrument the most commonly used cauti is of 1 cm detector detector the detector used in nephrometry are photo tubes photo multiplier tube and photovoltaic cell or barrier layer cell applications of nephroderbidometry it is used to determine the concentration of total protein in biological fluid such as urine nephroderbidometry is used to determine the immunoglobulin in serum and other biological fluids coal rubber plastic uses sample analyzed by nephroderbidometry for estimation of sulfur content the nephroderbidometry is used to examine the air pollution and water pollution some of the turbidic turbidimetric titrations are also carried out by nephroderbidometry such as estimation of sulfur in which sulfate is titrating with bacl2 